Hey everyone, hey everyone. Welcome, welcome to Rutland, Rutland News with Joey and Lucius. Oh. We have some new teachers to the school this year, so we sent out some of our camera crew to interview them. What's your name and what do you teach here at RSS? My name is Mr. Sidhu. I teach math, careers, and soccer academy. That's awesome. How are you liking it here at RSS so far? I love RSS. I actually graduated from RSS six years ago, so it feels like home. And who's your celebrity crush? <laughs> Emma Watson. Okay, that one, that one. Thank you for your time. Thank you. So what is your name and what do you teach here at RSS? Uh, my name is Mr. Enns. I teach uh, science 9 and 10, and then math 10 and 11 workplace. Oh, right on. And how are you enjoying that so far? You know, it's so far so good. Yeah, Rutland, it's a good school. I come from, from a different school in the district and, and I came to RSS and, and so far, great. The, the students are great, the, the staff is great, I'm having a great time. We're the best of the best. Why can't we can be the best say, of the best. Absolutely. So what's your name? My name is Ian McKendrick. What do you teach here at RSS? Uh, currently, I'm teaching English 10 and Careers 9. Why did you become a teacher? So I get paid to be a jerk. What's your favorite memory of teaching at RSS so far? So far, my favorite memory? Um, it's not so much a memory, but the <laughs> sense that everybody is so helpful and kind. I'm really appreciating that. It's really a welcoming place to be. So I'm liking that. What color is your toothbrush? What color is my toothbrush? Good God, I think it's green. I don't know. It might be purple. Heard it here, folks. Mr. McKendrick's uh, toothbrush is green. Um, say your name. Hi, I'm Miss Yostema. Yeah. Um, what do you teach? Ooh, I teach Crime and Punishment English 11, Crime New Media 10, and I also teach in Indigenous Community. How long have you been che teaching? This will be my third full year. Um, I graduated from the teaching program in 2021. Okay. Yeah. Um, favorite movie? Ooh. Pride and Prejudice or Baby Driver. Okay. Um, yeah. Favorite actor? Actor? Yeah. Jennifer Lawrence. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. We only need like a couple of clips. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, a lot of new faces to our school this year. We are so excited to welcome you to RSS. Yeah, we got some hot goss on the Rutland Cafe. Let's see what the cafe will have to offer this school year. How do you like teaching the cafe? I love it. I love working with food and I love working with teenagers. It's, it's a great program. We work really hard, but the days go by really fast. And yeah, it's, uh, I've been doing it a long time, so I must like it. If you could sell any type of food in the cafe, what would you sell? Well, we do have some restrictions of, of what we can't sell because of healthy school guidelines. So we can't do any deep fried food. So that does limit us a little bit. Is there anything else you would like RSS students to know? Well, yeah, like I think um, uh, if students haven't come to the cafe yet, um, just know that we have a, a wide variety of foods every day. We have um, soups and salads and sandwiches. We have an entree every day. We have our whole short order uh, station. So um, burgers and fries and poutines, um, as well as lots of different baked goods, uh, cinnamon buns and cheese sticks and all kinds of muffins and cookies and scones. So there is a real variety. We try really hard to have a vegetarian option every day. And we also have gluten-free foods available uh, most days as well. Has your experience been in this cafe this year and last year? My experience so far has been really great. I really like working, um, serving my peers, serving teachers, uh, getting to know my community, and just being able to give back it makes me really happy and I really enjoy doing it. What's your favorite thing from the cafe and what do you enjoy making the most? Um, I really like serving people. Like I like being on front. Um, I also really like the food. What I enjoy making the most is probably uh, eggers. I really like making the eggers. They're really fun. How's your experience been in the cafe this year and last year? This year and last year, it's been pretty good. It's one of my best classes so far. What's your favorite thing from the cafe and what do you enjoy making the most? What do I enjoy making the most? Definitely cinnamon buns. Love rolling them up as much as I can. See how many spirals I can get. Your favorite station? Favorite station? Definitely bakery. I want to I wanna be some sort of bakery chef. 
but I gotta get the overall first before I can do bacon. Yeah, no, it sucks that they can't like deep fry any of their food at the cafe. What do you mean by that? They deep fry all their food. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. All of it. The burgers, the fries, their ice cream, their pies, it's all deep fried. <laughs> They can't have deep fryers at school. Yes, they do. They're in the kitchen. No, they don't. Have you been in the kitchen? These are students. What are you talking about? These are students you're not, that are you're making not been food. in the kitchen. <laughs> oh god. Sorry guys. I get a little triggered about food sometimes, especially when people lie to me. I get lied to you. No, no. Anyway. We have a message. We have a message from our sponsors. Are you constantly getting injured in sports? I used to be a pro baseballer. Then I took a baseball in the knee. Do you want to play sports without any of those insufferable injuries? Yes. Introducing the RSS Esports team. Play soccer without breaking a sweat. And team up against Pikachu from Pokemon with Isabella from Animal Crossing and Steve from Minecraft. Enlist today in Room 1096 and fun ad. While we're on the subject of sports, let's go take a look at some of our other extracurricular <coughs> activities. Hey RSS, are you cheerful and happy and have a lot of love in your heart? Great. You should go support the cheer team. Look at look at this guy. He's so happy. He's so happy because he's supporting the cheer team. So you should do the same. Here with Miss Fair. Uh, Miss Fair, what inspired you to start a cross-country team? Um, when I was in high school, um, I was on the cross-country running team, um, and there were two young female teachers who were coaching, and I thought it looked like a pretty nice gig. So I was excited when I came here um, to get... I didn't actually start the team. Um, there had been one, but this is the year that we finally have like a pretty big team. That's awesome. Um, why do you think people should join track? Um, it is such a nice way to get outside and get some exercise. Um, it's, you know, you can have like a terrible day at school, but you know, you get outside in the sunshine, you get some energy, you get to meet people, you get to go to the races, which are really exciting. It's just, and for people like me who have no, um, who have no actual skills, everybody can run. That's awesome. <laughs> so it's very inclusive. Ready, set, go. Bro, they actually are so we are celebrating Terry Fox on Tuesday, October 8th by running for Terry. We are hoping to get a goal of $1,000. That, mean e that means each class would just have to raise $10 to get to that goal. We are giving an envelope to your teacher for cash donations, but if you would prefer online donations, your teacher would have to sign up from a link that Ms. Daniels sent out. If your class gets the most donations, the top three winners will get a pizza lunch. For those who don't know, Terry Fox was diagnosed with cancer at 18 years old. He decided that he wanted to start running in St. John's, Newfoundland, and that he would end his run in his hometown, Vancouver. He was running to get to raise money for cancer research. When he got to Thunder Bay, Ontario, it was discovered that his cancer had spread and he wouldn't have much time to live. He ended up flying back to Vancouver to undergo chemo. He, he then died two months later. We still celebrate him and his legacy by running every year to raise awareness for cancer. Next week, we have a game on Tuesday, Pie a teacher on Wednesday, which will be outside, a game on Thursday, and a bake sale on Friday. To join these games, it will be two dollars minimum. That's it. Thank you. What are you gonna What are you gonna make? Clothes for the bunny. Clothes. <laughs> what is it? I hope you will come and join us at Crochet Club. It's every Tuesday after school in room 1111. Anyone is welcome. You don't need any experience. We have a lot of supplies and we're happy to teach you. 
Um, you can learn how to knit or crochet. Come and join us. Anna Mualima Berg, and I hope that you will join us for Arabic Club every Tuesday at lunchtime in room 1111. Those sound like some awesome extracurriculars. Thanks for telling us about them. We all for our Rutland news for now, so until next time, thanks, thanks for- ah! Okay, okay, thanks, You disgust me! Oh! <laughs> <laughs>